good morning. Uh, myself is Dr. G. Arun Kumar from CAC department, uh, Moodle coordinator for the college. Uh, I'm here to explain how to upload assignment and what are the standard settings to be performed before uh, scheduling assignment for the students. Uh, just it's an awareness video, uh, which will be helpful for a faculty who is scheduling the assignment for the first time. Okay. First, select the uh, respective course which you are handling. So currently for first year, uh, myself handling a uh, data structures, uh, I'm selecting that particular subject. Okay, so this is the subject. So kindly ensure whether you're on the right uh, subject. So you can find academic year and what is the subject code. So here I need to schedule one assignment. Okay, I have already scheduled, but for this particular course, I've been rescheduling one more assignment for your awareness. Okay, click. First, uh, select the edit button. Okay, select turn edit on option. Okay, after that, click add on activity. So, in this, select assignment option. Okay, just give the name mid one assignment. one okay just give here last date as may 10th just for the reference of the students okay uh, if you have any separate question paper you can add it here okay uh, otherwise you can type the question directly here itself okay it depends upon the faculty and it's upon the uh, faculty how they are going to give the assignment Okay, like this here itself we can give and we can assign the roll number. Roll number 0, 1, 2, 0, 10. Okay, like that we can specify the from which roll number to which roll number that particular questions you want to give the assignment question. Okay, after that here. So what is the starting date? What is the due date? Kindly disable this remind me for grading. No need to enable these things. Just give the starting date and end date. Okay. And always in the second submission type, enable file submission only. Okay. Let it be all these things as a default settings 25, 50 MB, one file size. Okay. But here, accepted file type is more important. So kindly click choose button in this option. Here you can find document files. Okay, in this, please select PDF, RTT, Word document, doc file. That is sufficient. Okay, so select doc file, document file. In this, PDF, RTTF, Word, doc file. Okay, remaining no need to select anything. Just scroll down, click on save changes. So, what are the files which we have selected will be listed over here. These are the file types which will be accepted by the Moodle server. Okay. So, kindly enable this. Okay. Next, feedback type and all. No need to make any changes. We already made some standard settings over here. And submission setting here, kindly enable the submit button. See, require student to click submit button. Make it as yes. Why means it will give one button for the students that will get the student satisfaction. Yes, I have submitted assignment. Okay, so that alone you enable it. So in submission setting, yes is sufficient. Remaining and all standard settings, we already done it. Okay, so kindly ensure this is Turnitin integrity plugin settings. These also standard settings we have done. Okay, kindly don't make any changes over here. And next step, grading. So maximum grading for first years, of 23 regulation is 3 mark. Okay, kindly change from 100 mark to 3 mark. If it is second year, third year means we used to have 5 marks. For first year, R23 regulation maximum grading is 3. Okay, so kindly change the grade option maximum grading as 5, 3 points. So remaining no need to make any changes. Okay, click save and display. Okay. So uh, once we click that, it will show you if we if you, if you type the question means it will display the question here. If you attach the PDF file with all the question numbers and accordingly you assign some role numbers means it will have one file here. 
okay so here it has to ensure the number of participants so my class we have 68 students including one 69 participants will be coming and it will tell us about how many students submitted drafted all the information will be displayed here so here we can view the submissions okay till now no one has submitted so it is showing like this so this is from faculty side we have to do this settings okay so this is a new assignment which i scheduled mid one assignment one due date how many are submitted every information will be visible here so if you click it it will display the what are all the things okay so with this uh, faculty side scheduling of assignment is completed next we'll go to student side and i'll show you how it will be okay next so this is a, a student login this is for students of mids college how to upload an assignment in a moodle okay so kindly select the course which you want to upload so i am i'm i'm planning to upload a assignment okay so for trial version for students i have created this so just click the assignment which you want to upload before that kindly log in and check the questions what you have been assigned and what questions i have tried everything okay so this is a question assume for my my role number is one this is the questions where i want to submit the answer okay so i am creating one uh, word file assignment 1 ds so type the answer So like this for each and every answer you have to type if you have any diagrams you have to draw the diagrams if you have any uh, images you copy paste it okay well. so after that you save the particular file okay close it so keep remembering where you have stored the particular file so i have stored it in the uh, desktop so next i want to upload the assignment I'm just uh, signing out and I'm go to one student login. Both it is in faculty login. students after you log into a moodle account please open the corresponding course where you want to submit the assignments okay so this is the course which i am planned to submit my assignment okay so open the particular course so this is the assignment questions where faculties have shared with you so kindly check it now you can find one add submission button over here okay so this is the point where we want to submit our assignment so before ensure it we have typed the assignment question along with the answer saved it in a file and kept it in a location so carefully 
select the right file and upload because second time the submission takes a huge problem okay always ensure before submitting whether we have selected the right file or not okay click add submission okay so before uh, uploading a file you can find one red color box over here we have already accepted the latest turnit in ulua kindly enable if it is not accepted or already enabled kindly accept this okay then only your assignment will be uh, your assignment will be plagiarism will be checked and the report will be generated for you based upon the plagiarism only uh, the internal marks or an assignment mark will be awarded okay so if you are not accepted and you are submitted assignment it's of no use kindly accept the turnitin option afterwards you select the file okay so here you can download a file or you can drag drop a file so i have saved it in the desktop select the right file see assignment 1 data structures you want to replace it so by clicking in the file we can select it just give the name assignment 1 just give any name just i given assignment 1 so upload that particular file okay so here your file got uploaded kindly ensure see it shows the extension dox file i have given dox is an file extension okay after that click save changes okay so far it has been drafted see the submission st status showing drafted not submitted okay so here also you can find on blue color logo or here this is nothing but a plagiarism check turn it in logo so if you submit assignment only it will change the status to submitted and queued will be changed just observe so uh, this is the final step of submitting assignment just click submit assignment i am i am clicking here okay so it is again asking confirmation of submission are you sure want to submit your work for grading you will be able to make you will not be able to make any more changes yes click continue okay see previously it was not submission draft as a status after clicking submission button and confirmation of submission it has changed the status to submit for grading and see previously it was it was not sent now it has been queued that means your assignment has been sent to plagiarism server to check for plagiarism report okay uh, slowly after 1 hour or 2 hour it will be changed and report will be generated you can view okay so that is all about student how to submit an assignment okay after after 2 hours or 3 hours of time period you will get the plagiarism percentage it should be as less means you will get good marks assume out of 3 my plagiarism is 75 and above means you will get zero mark only okay just it's all about assumption so you have to keep the plagiarism report it should be less than 25 then only you will get 3 out of 3 okay so this is one uh, note kindly think it up so this is how student have to submit the assignment in the moodle